So this is our differential calculus reference app. Uh, it's one of the two that we just released. So when you open it, it will bring you to this home screen. Where on the left column you have both the glossary and the topics, and the right is really your reading column where anything you search in the glossary topics you can go and actually read. So let's, uh, let's first explore the glossary. So, you know, it basically everything that's covered in the book from definitions to theorems to examples you'll be able to find here. And simply by clicking on any of them, uh, say for example constraint, it'll bring you to the page that discusses constraint. Uh, in this case it's page 107. Um, and then let's close the glossary and let's actually search through it. So let's search for something like cycle. So you search for cycle and it will give you, it says page 74. So all you do is click on it and right towards the beginning and top of the page is where cycle is covered. So let's close the glossary for a sec. And let's move on to topics. So topics will give you all of the high level stuff that's covered in the book. So the beginnings of the chapters or other things like that that are uh, basically the beginnings of the section. So let's, for example, let's click on applications of differentiation. So we go to applications of differentiation, it brings you right there, uh, gives you a short introduction to the chapter, and in these you can sort of flick back and forth um, and turn the pages so you can read on. And at the beginning of every section, actually, you'll see these little thumbnails right here. And if you click on that, that will bring you to our, one of our videos usually takes about 10 to 15 seconds to load. In the first chapter of the book. And so up top you have a scroll bar where you can where you can fast forward. So if you don't want to see certain parts of the, the topics, it'll fast forward it through for you. Um, down here at the bottom is the play, fast forward, and the volume buttons. Um, and if you want to go back to the app, all you have to do is simply click done. So the other cool thing is it both, works in both landscape and portrait mode. So same functionality, you have the glossary and you have the topics. So we also have, uh, it's available for the iPhone, um, where similar functionality, where if you open it up, you have the topics, uh, you have the glossary and the topics. The only difference is, uh, is you don't have that right hand reader pane. So for example, if you click limits and continuity, for example, it will just bring it up in sort of a whole screen page and this will cover uh, everything on limits and continuity. You also have the same thing, you have those thumbnails as well. And if you want to go back, all you do is just do that. You can close it, you can close it up. You can click on another one and then close it up. And you're right back to the home screen. So we really feel as though our apps are great for anyone who's taking calculus, teachers who want to brush up, just general math enthusiasts. And they're really a perfect accompaniment for our digital textbooks um, because they cover the same material and uh, they're just really a great reference for any student or teacher looking to brush up on their calculus knowledge.